Oi lads, it's Danny here today, bringing you lot a lovely video. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to solve the integral of the absolute value of x dx. Before we jump into it, I want you lot to leave a like and subscribe, and let's get right into it then. So, the way we solve this type of integral is you're going to need to use a special integral calculus technique known as the integration by pulse. And this here is the formula for integration by pulse. Therefore, we need to select our u and dv variable and the way we do this is we make a, a, a sort of table you know with a u and dv variable we got to find the du and v equivalent and in order to help select the u and dv variable i like to use this little chart that i made and basically with this chart i basically have to assign according it to the different variable if it's an inverse trig i will tend to go to u and if it's an exponential it will tend to go to dv so in this case we got i like to say one multiplied with the absolute value of x so we got which is equivalent right one times the absolute value of x will yield the absolute of x right so therefore we are going to say that we got this imaginary one term multiply the absolute value of x notice when you do that you are going to see that we got two polynomials we got you know one which is a polynomial and we got uh, absolute value of x ease of this problem what i'm going to do is i'm going to assign absolute value of x to be the u variable and dv to be equal to one but left hand side we're going to take a derivative that's pretty straightforward right so the derivative of the absolute value of x is basically given by this and there's a there's a rule from calculus one which basically states that the absolute value of x is yields a derivative which is equal to this and on the right hand side it's going to be much easier you're basically going to take an integral on both sides of this equation so really what you're going to be left with here is an a equal to one very very important sorry equal to x so that's what you're going to have over here we could then rewrite the formula that's very important as uv minus uh, uh, the integral of v du we're going to substitute this in inside this integral and what you are going to have is this we are try we're going to simplify this a bit further right so more specifically we're going to take a look at how to solve this integral right away so this integral could be rewritten as the integral of x squared divided by absolute value of x dx so to solve this integral what you are going to need to do is we can rewrite x to the power of 2 as the absolute value of x squared because these are equivalents think about it if you have a negative 5 instead of an x over here when you square it you're going to get by default a positive number you're going to get 25 so in that case if you do the same if you add a ne if you sorry if you replace the x with a negative 5 over here instead negative the absolute value of negative 5 is going to be 5 raised to the power of 2 which is going to equal to 25 so you can basically x to the power uh, x to the x squared sorry is an equivalent expression to absolute value of x squared so therefore we can rewrite it like this and notice we got the same expression in numerator and denominator just add the, numer the numerator it's squared so basically that it's going to cancel out what you are going to be left with is the integral of absolute value of x so this is what you're going to be left with and the way we solve this is we apply this little trick you see this integral it, it appears on two sides of this equation right therefore we're going to take this integral and move it to the left hand side of this equation and you basically have once you add these two terms it's like adding two variables you're going to have two multiply with the integral of absolute value of x dx and we just we're trying to solve for this integral therefore we're just going to isolate for it and divide it by two on both sides and this here is the answer this is what it's equal to it's equal to x multiply the absolute value of x divided by 2 plus c so if you like enjoyed this video please drop a like and subscribe